Hello Virgo, this is your December 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Virgos, but I'm going to try to get as many of you as possible. But this is for Virgo, December 2018 Virgo. December 2018 Virgo. Hope your November is doing well or was doing well. December, I'm hoping good energies, but we shall see. Let's see what the beginning energy is coming in. Love. Love is coming in for Virgo. Whether it be friendships, a new partner, family, love is there for Virgo. It's a great card. Subject at hand, Ten of Wands in Reverse, coming out of feeling oppressed, coming out of feeling that you're carrying a burden, what's crossing it, a whole new world possibly opened up for you, or you're wanting a whole, whole new world opening up for you. We'll clarify these. Your goal the Princess of Swords, this could be male or female. Could be an air energy or someone taking on that energy. Could be Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Foundation coming out of hermit mode. You're no longer going to be thinking to yourself, keeping to yourself. Um, you're going to be talking more to the people around you and sharing your feelings, even sharing your feelings possibly. But it looks like someone may be coming out of hermit mode. Or, we got, i got to see the other cards for sure. i got to clarify these. In the past, you were dealing with the emperor, or you could have been the emperor. Maybe you decided to take control of your life in the past. It could also be that you have dealings with um, someone in court, like a judge. Or someone higher up in your company. They rule well. They make just just <laughs> decisions. It also could be an Aries for some of you. But like I said, they're in the upright, and I will clarify that also. I'll clarify all these. In the near future, you avoid a tower moment, which is if you want the tower card, if you have to have the tower card, you wouldn't reverse. To me, it's like avoiding a tower situation. You dodged a bullet, bullet, as they say. And we'll lay four more out because it's um, advice from the universe, outside environment, hopes and fears, and the distant outcome. But I want to clarify these first for Virgo. Pull out my other cards, shuffle them a little bit here as clarifiers. I use two different decks for clarifying. For the main energies and for the clarifiers. But let's find out. The Ten of Wands with the universe, the world card, crossing it. Why are you there for Virgo? Tower. Hmm. You do avoid it. There is a tower. You come out of oppression. And the world is there. The world, you're wanting to start a new energy. But And the reason why this probably is occurring is because you had a a tower movement was trying to come in. Something was trying to come in that you thought was going to crumble your, your world, but you do come out of a oppressive situation. I need another card. Tower is really relevant in this reading. Can I get another card for the Ten of Wands universe in the Tower card? You hear me stop, it's because I'm thinking. Trying to feel the vibrations here. Another card for Virgo. Oops, something's trying to count. Completion does occur. I'm seeing a completion does occur. Something, I'm, I'm thinking, you thought you're going to think a tower moment has, has arrived, but at the same time, when something was taken or completed in your life, it opens up you opens up also another door and you come out of feeling oppressed. Because we got the tower in reverse in the very near future. 
like dodging a bullet, thinking, this is like a blessing in disguise, as they say also. Hmm. we got to find out. Princess of Swords, why are you the goal for Virgo? Maybe you're wanting to move move with this person, move on from troubled waters, trying to have a better life. Some of you, very few of you, may actually move. Or just near water, go, go someplace near water, maybe visit. Can I get another card with the Princess of Swords and, and the Six of Swords, both in the upright? Prince of Cups. More than one people could be family. I no doubt you have people that care about you and you care about people. For the Virgos I'm reading for, because we had the love card in the beginning. But as the, uh, with the crown, you are the goal. You got the Prince of Cups also. So there's more than one person here. Prince of Cups could be a water energy or someone taking on an energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They're all good cards because they're in the upright. They know what they're doing. They're sound people. Or it could be that you're trying to move forward towards these people or with them, like I said. Maybe you're becoming, getting closer to these people. Your goal. Now, the foundation, you got the hermit in reverse. It's a good card to have in reverse. Well, it depends on what's next to it, I should say. Let's wait a minute. The Hermit, in reverse, why are you there for Virgo as the foundation? Why are you there for Virgo? Coming out of Hermit mood and regaining strength. For some of you, you may have been ill and decided you're feeling better and you were kind of out of it and weren't getting about and around and now you're feeling better. Or you're just regaining strength and courage to take out into the world now. Can I get another card for the Hermit in reverse and the Strength card in the upright? Knight of Cups. Maybe you're regaining strength with this person or this energy, this given energy. The Knight of Cups could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Water Sign, or someone taking on energy. And the energy in itself with this card is someone who's very loving and kind, offers you some friendship, some kindness or love or help. So this person is relevant in getting you out of the hermit mode and regaining your strength. You can leave it in the comments if it, if it resonates. What it could be, possibly, if it's not, you know, too personal, you know. Now in the past, you have the Emperor. It's in the upright. The Emperor, why are you there for Virgo? I don't know. Something didn't work out with this Emperor. He's in the upright, but maybe you just decided not to work with them, or they decided not to work with you for some reason. I don't think it's... Oops, a lot of these are trying to come out. An offer was made, but someone may not want to collaborate. Could have to do with an air energy. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, and the upright. Some seeing more than one person here in the past was not willing to work, even though a good, stable offer was made. Whether you turned it down or they turned it down, I don't know what it is. It doesn't necessarily have to be work, but it's, a, it's something of stability. And so in the past, they weren't willing to work with it. And maybe that's what you feel as a tower, because you thought it was going to work out, and you were going to come out of oppression, start a whole new world and completion. Your goal was to move on from troubled waters. You were coming out of hermit mode. You were gaining your strength, and you got someone there helping you, like I said. But in the near future, you're going to find out you avoided this tower, or avoided a tower. The tower, why are you there for Virgo in reverse in the very near future? Prince of Disc. Now this could be you. 
I'm going to see what else is here again. This could be you. It's going to leave you a little surprise, a little shook up. It's going to be real close that it almost hits you. But you do avoid it, but you're like, it left you frazzled. But don't be too upset. The Prince of Discs could be also another Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Can I get another card for the Tower and the Prince of Discs, both in reverse? I'm thinking you, you missed something. You totally missed, you know, dodged a bullet. Can I get another card? You're coming out of worry. Yeah, in the near future, you're going to feel like you're going to see it, that it's a blessing in disguise. You thought it was a bad thing that something didn't work out. And you're going to move on from troubled waters coming out of hermit mode. Like I said, you avoided the, uh, the tower situation as a blessing in disguise. Left you a little frazzled, but you may come out of feeling worried and left out. Can I get another card? One more. The tower, the prince of discs, and the five of pentacles. <clears throat> Why are you there? Yeah, communications are going to come in. You're going to be talking to somebody. Or you're going to find out some information. It's a swiftness card. I don't know what this could be because um, I'm reading for so many people here. You could leave it in the comments with this tower. You possibly avoid it, or I think you do avoid it. Pretty sure you do. Even though it, it was very close. And you're, gonna, you're really thinking, you know, wow, that's close. It could be possibly because someone told you something or, or gave you a message of this and maybe that helped you out. Remember, we got that Knight of Cups offering you something to regain your strength. Now let's go on. Let's go on to the advice from the universe and the possible future outcome. The advice is taken. It's saying no longer take a break. Don't. Don't sleep your life away. I'm not saying you're all sleeping all the time. It's saying don't take a break. Don't rest right now. you got to keep alert. Remember, you can regain some strength and you come out of hermit mode. We see that there. So, the universe is saying go ahead and do that. Four swords possibly. Coming out of feeling um, tired. Come out of feeling depressed. Come out of feeling just, you know, hiding out in some ways. Getting more, it's telling you to get motivated. Four swords in reverse. Why are you there? As the vice or possible future outcome. Oops. Something wants to move forward. Yeah, move forward, it's saying. Rush it. Get get going. Get it done. Chariot in the upright. Uh, has us move forward quickly with power. Can I get another card for the four swords and the chariot in the upright? Four of Swords is in reverse, which is good in reverse. Neither one of them are too bad. Contract, possibly. Accept new contracts. Something may be coming in. The universe may be telling you a new contract may be coming in pretty quickly. So don't sleep it away and miss it. Don't say, I'm, I'm you know, don't want to go out this week. I'm going to go home to bed early. Instead of going to work, I'm going to call in sick. Don't do that. I don't know why that came out. Maybe that's just for a few of you. But I do see positive contracts and things moving forward. What is coming towards you? So they're going to make a lot of offers. And you're not going to know if you want to take this. I don't know if this is associated with the tower or a new offer. But it's the Four of Cups and it's coming towards you. It's like someone is being trying to hand uh, somebody something. And they're saying, I don't know if I want to do that. Or, you know, an offer or something. Four cups in the upright coming towards Virgo. Why are you doing that? So you may be getting more offers, something you didn't like. Yeah, you may get another offer also. Something else coming in. Or it has something to do with this tower. Something you didn't like and you want to you want nothing to do with it that's coming towards you. That's that's in reverse. I think this has to do with that tower. Yeah, because it's a failed situation. I think someone's going to offer something to you, and um, but it's not this part of it's not good. I think it has to do with that tower. This is the outside environment. What is coming towards you, or the outside environment? What could be causing some of this? 
depends on what the cards are there, but I'm seeing someone possibly making you offer uh, that may actually stay stuck with the, the devil in reverse. Sometimes the devil in reverse is breaking free, depending what's next to it. But you got the failure card next to that. So that's telling me if someone's going to offer you something, you're going to see it for what it is and possibly turn around. You're going to see it as a failure. And maybe because you do see that, you get communications, you avoid the tower. Hopes and fears, Virgo. You're afraid you won't get abundance. The things you want in life, celebrations. It's a fear. And it's only a fear. Don't let it become reality. Three of Cups, why are you there for Virgo? Afraid you won't get your desires in life, the wants. But that's the lust card in the upright. Sometimes it means lust, but in this case, I think it's just your desires in general, whatever they are. The Abundance card, Three of Cups there. And the Lust card, why are you there? Yeah, you know, you're afraid that new world won't open. You're afraid you won't get what you want. You're, you're, that's too much. That's overthinking. That's what you want to keep from you is, are these thoughts. Manifest the positives. Get rid of the negatives. Final outcome, Ten of Swords. You're going to feel a little betrayed with the Ten of Swords. Even though you avoid a tower, you're remembering, you're thinking, they messed me over. Be careful of that offer that you don't take it because it's not good. You do get something that's coming in. And you are moving on from troubled waters. But I do believe that tower situation is trying to still mess you up. And with the Ten of Swords, you may still feel betrayed, like someone betrayed you, even though you avoided a situation. Ten of Swords as the outcome. Why are you there for Virgo? The Lovers, with someone you love, someone you cared for. You may feel a little betrayed over a certain situation. I don't know what it is, though. Could have to do, like I said, with contracts, marriages, someone you thought you were going to have a collaboration with. But even though you, like I said, avoided that tower, you still feel betrayed in the end. Even though the universe is saying things are moving forward, you're feeling that, that sword of what happened to you. It's a hard energy to let go right, of, right away. It does take time, but you will do it. Ten of Swords with the Lovers. Why are you there as the final outcome for Virgo? You will come out of feeling uh, the anxiety. You will come out of feeling that. Could be that you also have a few people, like I said, around you that's going to help you. So it's kind of divided in two different things. Like I said, the tower situation tries to come along, but you avoid it. Someone may tell you something to bring you out of this word situation. Your goal is to move on. Like I said, you regain strength as a foundation. The universe says to take a certain contract that moves forward and uh, don't take a break. Don't, 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 don't go on vacation just yet. You also do have things coming t towards you that may have to do with this tower situation. This is someone making you an offer that's no good. It's a failed situation. Remember that. But you remember, you also got good things coming. But you're going to, this is still very relevant to you and you're still feeling it. And now you're going to feel like you're not getting your abundance in your new world and you still feel betrayed. But you will come out of that anxiety. For some of you, it could be over a lover or that a lover helps you come out of anxiety. Remember, I told you we're reading from more than just one Virgo. You're going to still feel like it's a hopeless situation. That's something you're going to have to let go of. You're thinking too much of this hopes and fears. Go with what the universe is telling you to do. 
move on to better things, better contracts, stable contracts, and don't listen to this fluff that's coming your way. That's, I mean, you may really want it. You may think it's a really good thing, and you're wanting collaboration, but it's a failed situation. Now, this could be that you're wanting to do this with somebody, but like I said, it's an outside environment. And you, but you could be doing it to somebody wanting, wanting a contract, and they think it's failed. But I'm, I'm reading this for Virgo going through it. But let it go. Don't, don't live in the past with this. Don't let this get to this. Go to this. Go to this. Because this is more solid. This is all thoughts and anxiety, which you will be coming out of. Even though you may feel like it's a hopeless situation, don't let it get that way, okay? Because, like I said, you were, you 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 avoided a disaster. You're just not going to feel like you're not going to feel like you have all the luck in the world. You feel, you're going to still feel the the burn from it. But I'll be back probably before the middle of December to give you another reading. And remember what I said, positivity, get rid of the negative. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.